Good morning students. Hope you all stay safe in home. My name is Serenya. I am teaching EVS. Okay children. We will continue with the lesson. Super sense. Okay. First super sense of hearing. These are the animals who have super sense of hearing. They can hear even the finest sound like very small sounds. Super sense of sight helps animals to find prey or protect themselves from danger. So it helps them to find the food and to prevent them from the dangers. Next, name the animals whose ears can be seen. Elephant, cow, rat, dog, buffalo etc these ears these animals ears we can see easily right next name the animals whose ears are bigger than ours so which animals ears are bigger than ours dog cat goat cow and rabbit these animals ears are very big so think is there some link between the size of animals ears and their hearing yes they have some link what does that means this is langur langur warns others of dangers like a tiger or leopard so it if any dangers, it will alert the other animals. Next, fish. Fish gives alarm calls by electric signals. So, electric signals, it will produce in the water. So, the other fishes also be alert. Some animals behave differently when a storm or an earthquake is about to come. So, if any dangers, the animals will react to that. We'll see. Also, give alarm calls to warn against the dangers. See the picture. This is before the earthquake. See how the birds are flying together. Next, that is earthquake, storm, and lightning. Lightning. Okay, children. Next, sit near a desk. Tap the desk once with your hand. Listen carefully. Now put your ear on the desk as shown in the picture. Tap on the desk once again with your hand. Listen it again. Was there any difference in the sound of the tap? Yes. If we tap simply means it will hear it very slowly. If we place our ears on the desk means it will show big noise, right? Next, snakes do not have external ears, which we can see. So, we, we can't see the ears of snakes, right? They feel the vibration of the ground. So, if we uh, walk means there is some vibration. That vibration snake can understand. Next, Super sense of dolphin echolocations. Dolphin produce certain type of sound which bounces off after touching an object under a water. So, dolphins also doesn't have ears. So, it will make one sound. So, it will touch some surface and it will reflect. So, that can understand we are this much close to that objects next just like the echo produced when you shout out a mountain valley we always do that right if you are going to a mountain valley we will shout it will be echo sounds will be come back like that next sloth this is sloth animal we'll see about that it looks like a bear but it's dog it is a sloth. It spends almost 17 hours a day 
sleeping while hanging upside down on a tree branch. See the picture like this. It will sleep for 17 hours. The sloth ears eats the leaves of the same tree on which it lives. So if that animal will eat leaves. It hardly needs anything else so it doesn't want anything else when it has eaten enough leaves from that tree it moves to the nearby tree sloth live for about 40 years and in that time they move around only eight trees so it will live for 40 years and it will move for the tree only eight trees in that lifespan once a week, it comes down from the tree to relieve itself. So, it will come down for taking rest. Already, he that was taking rest in the tree, by coming down also, it will take some rest. Next, tiger, one of the most alert animals in the danger, endangered. A tiger can see six times better at night than most of us. So it have very super sight. The tiger's whiskers are more sensitive and can sense the movements or vibration in air. They can help tiger to move in the dark and find its prey. So it will help to find the prey. Next. Tiger's sense of hearing is so sharp that it can make out the difference between the rusting of the leaves and the sounds of an animal moving on the grass. So whatever the sound he will, that animal will, tiger will hear it. The ears of the tiger can move in different directions and this helps to Catch the sounds from all around. So the ears will move in different direction to hear the noise. Next. Tigers make different sounds for different purpose. Like when it is hungry or to call out to a tiger, it can also roar. It can be heard up to 3 kilometers away. So it will draw. The sound will pass through 3 kilometers. So all the tigers will come. Next. Do you know that today many animals are killed and their parts are sold? Do you know this? Yes. We, some uh, human beings are killing that animals for some making some products you'll see what is that elephants are killed for their tusks these are the tusks and rhinoceros for its horn tigers crocodiles and snake for their skins so along with the skins they have made these and Musk deer are killed just to make a little scent from the musk. People who kill animals are called hunters and poachers. So they are hunting animals for making these type of products. Next, to protect animals, our government has made some forests as protected areas. Some of them are the Jim Corbett National Park in Uttaragand and Gahana in Bharatpur district of Rajasthan. In these areas, nobody can hunt animals or destroy the jungle. So they are restricted place to provide the animals. Okay children, we'll stop here. That's all the lesson. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.